Hey everybody, in this video I'm going to go over how to do A-B testing or split testing with the Divi WordPress theme. Uh, basically what A-B testing is, is it's when you create separate versions of a website so that you can then test which version performs better uh, based on either conversion rates, amount of revenue, or whatever business metric that you want to focus on. So for this tutorial, we're going to take advantage of Divi's pre-made layout themes and we're going to pick out a landing page. And then once that's set up, we're going to use the split test feature. We're going to take, create a couple different variations and uh, then I'll show you kind of all the, how it tracks stats and stuff like that. Uh, some common things to test with A-B testing is button text or color. Uh, headlines on a page or the styling of like a contact form or something like that. So the first thing we need to do is enable the split test feature. So what you're going to do is go down to here to page settings and then we'll scroll down to split test and then enable. And once we click that it'll pop up with this. So select your split testing subject. The subject is basically uh, the feature that you're going to make different variations of. So if we click proceed, we can select like this, or we can go down and get kind of a better viewpoint. And from here we can select, for, so for our subject, we can we can select an entire section, an entire row, or an individual module. So for this, we're just gonna select uh, the text module, the header, and then once you've done that, it's going to want to select your goal. So this is based on what you want to measure. So for this, we're going to want to measure this button because we want them to, our goal is maybe to direct them to a certain page. So we're going to click this button. And now we can see everything's set up and it'll take us back here. And so now we have two variations. So if we go on here and go to settings, right now they're the exact same. And what we can do is just customize the text to however we want it. So we'll say, we'll change it from all that to just learn to code. We'll save that. And you can always, you can create more than two. If you click duplicate, that'll add a third variation. And you can basically do as many as you want. But for now, we're just going to stick with two. And now we're going to click save. Well, that save and we'll open up in incognito mode. We'll open up this new window and we can see as we refresh the page, we'll be able to see, or we should be able to see at least those different variations. Not sure why it's so slow. And see, we, so now this first reload we got learn to code. And if we keep refreshing, sometimes you get the same one again. And you might have to open a new window because it might cache that variation. But after a while, eventually, uh, we'll try a different window. You'll get that different variation of text. And depending on however many you have, uh, it'll register that accordingly. But for now, we're not going to bother with that. If you, once you got that saved, if you click on this little, these bars, you can see that it tracks your different variations. And we can see already it's got one impression registered. Uh, we can look at, we got some images here saved. You can see, so if this is a version where they're testing a slider. And uh, if we go back, you can check, it'll track clicks. So if you're clicking on the button, it'll reg register that. You'll also be able to check uh, the read through rate. So if your goal is maybe you wanna make sure people are reading a full page, you can set the goal as a text, uh, a text module at the bottom of the page. So they have to scroll all the way down the page. So that's something you could do, we'll click out. Like if you wanted to make sure they read all the way to the bottom, you could go down here and you could set this text module as the goal. So if they scrolled all the way down to this page, that would register as a successful conversion. But going back up here, 
uh, you can see basically, uh, and this is an example with the reads, and this is an example where you can see you can have a ton of different variations. So once that's done, we'll pretend that uh, we got everything registered, or we get, did everything we wanted. Once you click on this, you can end it and choose your variation. So we'll, once it's loaded, we'll do end split test and pick our winner. And we'll say it'll want us to pick our variation. So then we can pick, uh, depending, if we had the stats, it would show right here which percentage, which converted better. But we'll say the second variation converted a higher rate. So we'll pick that and it gets rid of that extra, it automatically gets rid of the extra version and then you can just click save again. And basically, uh, if we go back to our page, uh, we will no, no longer get those extra variations and it'll just set that one. So before I wrap up, I th I'll go over some of the additional features. Uh, one thing that's pretty cool is once we enable this, you can see uh, the short code tracking. So if you click this, it'll give you this little code here. And this is good for like e-commerce. If you uh, want people to make a purchase and you want to track those, you can then redirect. After the purchase, you can redirect to a page. And if you paste this code on that final sales page, it'll automatically register that as a conversion and you could do this for really anything else. If you want to track, instead of a button click, you just want them to go to a certain page, you can do this too. So whatever page you put this on, when people visit it, it'll register as a successful conversion. Uh, one thing also, for this we just did the one module. If you did the entire section, uh, you can then change, it'll copy the whole section and then you could change multiple things inside of it. So if you wanted to do, instead of the single headline like we changed, you could go in and change multiple things in this entire section. So you could change the button font, the button color, in addition to the header font and the image, and you could see which entire section performed better. So that's uh, a more advanced use case. Here you have how to register bounce rate. If you're not familiar with that, bounce rate is basically when somebody comes to your website or a page on your website and then leaves immediately. So what this is, is this is seconds. So if somebody comes to your website and then leaves within five seconds, it'll register as a bounce. And you can increase that to whatever your standard is. Uh, I'd probably just leave it at five. But uh, that's another little feature there. So I'm going to turn this back off for now. Uh, that's basically it for this tutorial. Uh, in a follow-up, I'm going to actually make an entire landing page and kind of make a full tutorial on some of the best practices for landing pages and conversions and stuff like that. So if you're interested in that, hit subscribe. If this video helped you out, hit like. But for now, that's it. Thanks.